All right. Hey everyone, my name is Anmol and I'm the founder of Emitter, a 24/7 answering software for maid service companies. Today, I'm going to be talking about how you can maximize your cleaning business even after business hours. When I say how you can maximize your cleaning business even after business hours, three important things that I'm going to be talking about are the problem of missed calls or missed opportunities essentially missed cleaning opportunities how you can address the problem of missed cleaning opportunities and grow your cleaning business and what are the best practices while you're solving this problem but before i jump in i want to take the opportunity to thank amar and his team at zenmade for putting together such a great summit for the second time the first year i was watching it and and i was so excited learning so many things this year i'm super excited and and really thrilled to be being part of the summit and speaking and you know sharing my knowledge so before i jump into today's topic let me tell you thanks a lot for giving me attention for the next 20 minutes i'm going to be narrating you a story of christobel who's one of our customers and how he solves the problem of missed calls or opportunities trust me it's not going to be a boring story great so this is christobel and 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 as you can see he's 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 extremely happy if you look at his image he's he's always happy but don't go by that smile because he faces a lot of challenges in in running such a great business right he he has to do a lot to build a 2 million dollar business so here's a little bit about christobel he runs a 2 million dollar maid service business 60% of his business comes through calls and and of those those about 100 calls go missed every month now no no one's to be blamed for missing these calls because the nature of the business is such that you cannot be available 24/7 but customers can call you when they want to so essentially he has a 2 million dollar business 60% business comes through calls but he has zero time to answer or track calls you may ask why does he have zero time to answer calls or track calls the reason is that all of his day goes into answering existing customer calls his vas answer new calls looking at the emails managing the cleaning team's calendar and making sure everybody is uh, you know everybody is on the calendar all their slots are booked uh, everybody is given an equal opportunity managing payrolls billing reviews marketing the business to make sure that it is growing day after day it's not an easy business running a maid service business right you need to make sure that you're generating enough demand you need to make sure that customers are happy and you may need to make sure that you're hiring enough people to cater to that demand so that's exactly what a weekday in the life of a maid service owner looks like but let's also look at how what the day looks like what a weekend looks like in in the life of a maid service owner so the expectation you know is essentially that you would get to spend time with family have fun go on holidays but since it's an operational heavy business the reality is that you are stuck between constant alerts you may get alerts on weekends after hours about negative reviews missed calls customer texts and 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 so many other things right because it's a service business where you need to keep people happy all the time and when i say people it's not just customers but even your employees so it's not easy even your weekends are really busy and and all of this leads to missing a lot of calls which leads to of course you know losing business so where i'm coming from is that you spend a lot of money a lot of time in driving people through a digital channel a lot of marketing dollars but a quarter of these calls or customers are never attended to right and let's take a look at how big the problem is in terms of numbers so about 4 to 5 calls go missed every day for all cleaning businesses which sums up to 110 calls being missed a month now if we take a look at 30% of these calls are actually booking calls So what really happens is that you're losing at least five thousand dollars worth of revenue every month, or maybe sixty thousand dollars, or even more, right? 
And this problem exists across 1 million maid service businesses in the US alone. You don't have to take my word for it. I've, you can listen to your customers. They're being vocal, vocal about it. Take a look at this. All of these reviews on Yelp, and, and I have not gone, not gone ahead and shared Google reviews, but all of these reviews on Yelp say the same thing. Look at the first one. It says they didn't show their phone went straight to voicemail and they didn't respond to email. If I could, I would do zero stars, right? I had repeatedly tried to contact this company to get a quote to clean my home. I managed to speak to someone once, right? So you see both these people are uh, expressing their concern about not being able to reach the business. Look at the third one. It says they may be good, but they don't return phone calls. Been trying a few days and some person says they will call back. Now this is nobody's fault, right? Because the, the business is such that it demands so much from you. But it's hard as a customer to understand because the customer is in need and is trying to reach you. And, and you know, all you may try, you may not be able to reach a few customers. So now that we've established the fact that even after running such a large company and, uh, you know, becoming large, the problem of missed opportunity still exists. Whether you have a VA, whether you have a call, calling agency or, or a call center employed, you still miss calls on weekends or, or after hours. And how do you solve this problem? That's exactly what we are here to look at today. But before we do that, let's take a look at what this means as a business, right? You essentially lose a paying customer every time you miss a call. Why? If you miss a call and, and you don't call back the customer or you don't attend to them then and there, Within 15 minutes or even lesser sometimes, customers are going to find another cleaning company, right? That's not it. You're losing a recurring customer because you probably lost a customer who could have booked with you again and again. You probably lost a referral in case they were happy with your services. They might have referred you to a neighbor. You probably also lost the review and also a lot more, right? Maybe the trust that they will ever come back to you. So when whenever you miss a call, don't think of it as, as, you know, just missing out on one paying customer because I have 30 paying customers. You're actually missing out on a lot more. You're missing out on a recurring customer for that year. You're missing out on a referral, a review and a lot more, right? So give this call a lot of importance. Every call is important, not only because of all of these, but also because you're spending a lot of marketing dollars, a lot of time and effort your team is spending to bring these people to essentially call you. And when they call you, if you don't answer, that leaves a negative impact. Moving on, let's dive right in to talk a little bit about how we can solve the problem of missed opportunities or missed calls, as you may call it, for your cleaning business, right? So do you think hiring more virtual assistants is going to solve the problem or hiring a calling agencies is going to solve the problem? Or, or you may say that, you know, you might just answer customer calls yourself. While these are great solutions, they're not viable because people come at a cost, right? Whereas, whereas automation does not, automation probably comes at one tenth or one twentieth the cost of a human being. And, and you don't want to work 24 seven and answer all your customer calls or expect your VAs to work 24 seven, right? So what you can do is what I'm going to share next. The solution to this problem is not answering all your calls yourself or hiring a calling agency and spending ton of dollars because that reduces your profit margin. The solution to that is automating your communication in your absence. You may be wondering, what do I mean by automating communication in the absence, in, in your absence, right? What I mean to say is what I'm going to show you next. And, and you may be surprised because this is, to, we are in 2020 and, and this is really possible. And if you want to delight your customers and if you want to give them a premium experience, this is what you got to do. Again, before we jump into that, why is it so important to solve the problem of missed opportunities? Like I told you, you might lose on, on a, you might lose out on a review. You might lose out on a recurring customer, uh, maybe a referral and a lot more, but that's what you're missing out on. Let's look at what you're gaining while solving this problem, right? You solve for customer pain points when they need it the most. 
think about a time when you were signing up for a software for your business, right? It could be, let's say, for example, you wanted to look at ZenMade and you wanted to evaluate ZenMade for your business. If you signed up for a free trial of ZenMade and you didn't hear back for, let's say, one week or probably a couple of hours, you've probably lost interest and gone and found someone else because customers want to look at solutions to their problems in that hour or in the time of the need. So solving this problem is important because if you solve a customer pain point when they need it, that's when they'll be really happy and it'll be the most impactful. The second reason is better engagement with potential existing customers. So if you're missing calls and you're solving this problem of missed opportunities, you probably would have better engagement with customers even in your absence. And we've seen north of 60% in engagement growth for, for cleaning companies we work with. We work with about 100 plus cleaning companies. The other thing is you reduce missed calls, missed opportunities, right? Which essentially means you grow your revenue or grow your business, which is why you started out in the first place. So just focusing on what you have today and, and leaving out missed opportunities is not the best way to grow. So how do you solve this problem? Now that we've spoken about the problem and uh, you know how you build a company, what you lose out on, what's the exact problem that you're facing, why you should solve it, let's jump to how you should solve it, right? Now that we've established the fact that this is a large problem, customers have been vocal about it on different review sites. There is no ideal solution today. Voicemails don't work. Research says 20% of customers don't leave a voice, uh, sorry, 80% of customers don't leave a voicemail, which only leaves you with 20% of customers leaving you a voicemail. And, and let me ask you, you know, frankly, how often do you listen to a voicemail? Some of you might say never. Some of you might say probably a week later, right? So let's jump at once we've established the fact that this is a problem, the, you know, the impact that it has on your business and why you need to solve it. Let's look at how you can solve it. So step one in solving the problem of missed opportunities or missed customers is understand your customers. What do they call you for? So do customers, let's say, do 90% of your customers call you for quote? Do they call you to confirm a cleaning after they've booked? Do they call you to check the estimated time of arrival of, a, of your team? Do they call you to check or, or book, book a cleaning for a refund, hiring, other things, right? So what you need to do is you need to understand what your customers typically call you for. Why? Because if you can understand what your customers call you for, you can easily automate your customer communication after hours, right? So if you have an understanding that 90% of my customers call me for getting a quote or 30% or of my customers call me for booking a cleaning, you know exactly what you need to automate after hours, right? You need to make sure that you're answering people's questions with respect to a quote or, or with respect to booking a cleaning. And, and how you can get this data, it's, it's pretty easy, right? Just go inside your email, your call data, your website queries, your form fills. If you use ZenMade, go inside ZenMade and you will see what customers are reaching out to you the most for and solve for that. Don't unnecessarily solve for things like hiring or, or maybe even refund. You want to solve for something that grows your business, which is quotes, booking, and, and, and probably receiving payments and reviews, right? Uh, so that's, that's essentially the step one, understanding what customers call you for. Step two is once you've got this data, for example, I, I can tell you that most of our customers, more than 60% of them get a call to request a quote and, and probably 30% of them get 30% of those calls are for booking and, and maybe 10% are miscellaneous, right? Where people ask for a refund, ETA and things like that. So clearly you need to solve for that. So once you've got that answer that what are customers calling you for, step two is to automate your communication based on customer data that you've collected. How? Firstly, enable conditional call forwarding. Now, when I say enable conditional call forwarding, please remember we are solving for missed calls. So what you want to do is understand when you're missing calls. You're either missing calls because you're busy on another call with another customer or maybe just another call. Your number is not reachable or your, your call was not answered for 10 seconds, right? You're just not available. It's weekend after hours. It's, it's 7 p.m. So what you need to do is you need to enable conditional call forwarding and, and make sure that calls are getting forwarded 
to a number that can trigger a text conversation to your page, to your customers. So what really happens is, and I'm going to show you this in the few, in the slides ahead. What really happens is when you miss a call, you enable a conditional call forwarding to say that if I'm missing a call only for these conditions, forward my call to a particular number that will send a text message to the number that I'm missing a call from. Remember, you don't want to forward all the calls. This is super important. You want to forward calls only which are going missed to a number that can trigger a text conversation to the customer you missed the call from. So let's say, for example, I call Queen Bee today and, and Cristobal's unavailable to take the call. What he would have done is he would have enabled a conditional call forwarding to send me a text message saying, hey, I'm unavailable to take the call right now, but for immediate assistance, you can respond to the text. When you're setting up the text messaging, make sure it is two way so customers can respond. It's not just an FYI that I'm not available because that again does not solve the problem. So make sure it's two way customers can respond, right? And make sure it's automated. Why? Because you're not available to take the call. So you need to make sure it's automated. So it's essentially a missed call chat bot, a chat bot that you had uh, uh, that you see on people's websites, but that works with an else logic. You need to make sure that this is on top of text and it is automated to answer any question that your page customers ask. The next step is make sure that it's in form of a conversation to respond to missed calls or missed opportunities right from the website. Now, let me quickly show you how. But before I show you how, make sure to remember two things, right? When you text back to your patients right after you have missed a call from them, don't send a direct link to your website through an automated text. Why? Because they're looking to speak to someone either through text or through a voice call with a human being. They don't want to be sent to your website. Most of the times they've already seen your website and that's why they're calling you or that's why they're texting you. So sending a website actually does not really help. Make sure that it's it's not a one way text or it's not a voicemail. Like I said, 80% people don't respond to voicemails. The third thing to keep in mind is don't make it IVR. So you don't want customers to call you and experience something like, hey, press one for this, press two for this, press three for that. We all hate it, especially I hate it when, when I have to call my telecom company and, and, you know, hear this, that press one for this, press two for this. It's just so frustrating when I'm looking for something for a response that the company can easily automate. The third, the fourth thing to remember is call back if that's what customers ask for. If customers text you saying that, hey, can you call me back? You need to call them back. Don't ignore that. That's important. So let's quickly jump to how the, how the texting works automatically. And what's the message that people typically hear uh, when you miss a call? Let's, let's look at that. So for example, I'm going to be calling this number where, uh, you know, I will hear a message which will tell me that, Hey, we are unavailable to take the call right now. Uh, but you know, you can respond to the text message that you just received and you will see how that text message will actually solve my problem. Sorry, we are not available to take the call right now. You can respond to our text service for immediate assistance and also leave a message after the beep. So I'm going to end it. I'm not going to. I am not going to uh, leave a message because I just want to show you this. So like you heard the message, right? It said that, sorry, we are unavailable to take the call right now, but you can respond to the text message for immediate assistance. And by the time the customer actually leaves the call or hangs up, if they leave a voicemail, good. If they don't, they've received this text message just the way you see on my screen. They will receive a text message that says, hey, this is Onyx Cleaning. Sorry, we are, sorry, we missed your call. This is our text only service. How can we help you today? You can simply reply with book a service, cancel, reschedule, whatever it is, right? You can customize this message based on your, based on your business, based on your customers. So now I'm going to show you how exactly this works and really solves the problem of missed calls. So what happens is I receive this message and I'm going to say, could you book me a service, right? And once I say this, the system is automatically going to respond to me saying, great, please select a service, right? So maybe you could select standard cleaning, deep cleaning, move and move out cleaning, Airbnb cleaning, whatever it is. So similarly, 
this again can be uh, customized based on the services that you offer. In this case, I'm going to say standard cleaning and let's see what happens next. So once I say standard cleaning, I'll get a response, right? We need a few details to confirm your booking, which is what I'm looking at. And typically cleaning companies want to know what time and date, uh, you know, customers want a cleaning at. So let's say, for example, I'm going to say June, or let's say, for example, instead of a date, I just say tomorrow at 5 p.m. So that's essentially what I said. I did not specify anything, but the system is smart enough to understand that tomorrow at 5 p.m. is what the customer is asking for. And the next thing is, which typically all cleaning companies ask, some companies do check for square fit. Uh, but uh, some most companies that I have seen and we work with ask for bedrooms and bathrooms. So let's say, for example, I say I have two bedrooms, one bathroom. Uh, that's that's what happens. Perfect. We're almost done. Just need your complete address with zip code. So I'm just going to say West New York, which is where I live, West New York. And, and I'm going to say um, 07093, which is my zip code. And this is just for a, a demo purpose. As a last bit, are there any special instructions? So why we are doing this is because people might want to say that, uh, hey, you might find the key, uh, uh, you know, uh, under the mat, or I've left the key at the window, at the door, in the pot. So I can I can say anything, right? So just special instructions, and I can say I have a pet, which is my special instruction, and and that's it. You're done. You've essentially your patients, essentially your customer, sorry, has essentially uh, booked a cleaning without talking to you and that's exactly what happens so this is the kind of flow that you need to set up to make sure that your customers are able to book a quote uh, book a cleaning get a quote uh, get answers to any of their questions even in your absence and that's essentially how you maximize your cleaning business even in your absence on weekends and after hours now jumping back to where we left it off um so now that we've established three things, right? That this is a large problem, a problem that needs to be solved because of the impact that it has on your business, both positive and negative. How you can solve this problem? What are the best practices? Let me jump back to Cristobal's story and his life, right? So I told you, don't go by Cristobal's smile because he's generally really happy, right? He's He works really hard. He's an amazing leader. And, and he's always happy and smiling. But how hard he works, uh, not many people know, right? But now you can trust Cristobal Smile because now he's really happy. Why? Because Cristobal and 100 others love our solution. Uh, and, and, and not just our solution, right? They sort of help, they, they love that this has really solved the problem. And this is what Cristobal has to say. I love having my freedom and not having to deal with missed calls anymore. Every call is answered and my clients love the texting service. But that's not just it, right? He saves more than saves or grows his cleaning business by more than five thousand dollars a month. With time, that's going to get better and better because currently we are able to handle seventy percent of the calls that his company missed successfully. With time, we will handle hundred percent of these calls, or maybe even, uh, you know, we have the, have the capability to upsell. So that number could go to ten thousand, twenty thousand, whatever it may be, right? As his company grows. So now you can trust Cristobal and his smile because now he's seriously happy because he doesn't have to worry about calls going missed and him, have to, him having to worry about losing clients after hours and on weekends. I hope you found this helpful and, and that I, I was able to you know, show you something new that can help you grow your cleaning business in these 20 minutes. From our side, what we're doing is we're offering a free trial of Emitter, which is the business, uh, while I did not mention it throughout, but I'm the founder of Emitter, which is EMITRR for all cleaning companies. So if you want to try this out for free, we have, like I said, 100 plus cleaning companies using us and, and really happy about it. So if you want to try this out and automate your communication and make sure that you're growing your business even in your absence, this is your free resource. Reach out to us and we're happy to give you a one month free trial. And apart from that, we also have Facebook growth group, growth resources group, where we share a ton of growth resources for cleaning companies, ranging from SEO to cold calling to ads to, to a lot of different things, right? The name of the, res the, the group is growth resources for local service businesses. You can find it by a simple search on Facebook. If you have any queries, reach out to, uh, reach out to me on anmolatemitter.com. 
And, and I think in, in case you have any questions, uh, I can answer them once we are live with the summit. Once again, I hope you found this useful and you were able to learn something new today. Thanks a lot again, Amar and the team for this exciting opportunity. And everyone stay safe and keep growing your cleaning business. Thank you.